This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news of the business of podcasting. Brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Tom Webster. Here's what you need to know for today, Tuesday, March 5th. First, from KSNR Podcast Frenzy. New from strategic consultancy and marketing research firm KSNR, the report's full title is Podcast Frenzy, Riding the Wave of Ever-Increasing Popularity. The report is built from an online survey of 5,000 respondents from March and April in 2023, with an age range of 13 to 76 years old. Key findings include the suggestion that podcasting is taking over traditional media consumption time, Respondents reported 28% watch less TV and 24% browse social media less often. Gen Z podcast discovery is a mix of methods with 46% relying on social media recommendations and 33% of younger Gen Z browsing top charts and best of podcast lists. Jen Sock, the executive director of Channel Solutions at Group M, was recently interviewed on the floor of the IAB's annual leadership meeting. According to SOC, precision targeting in podcast advertising is a highlight of the industry, along with the lauded authenticity and trust audiences build with podcast hosts. She also spotlights the growing number of brand safety and suitability options that use AI-powered tools to scan podcast transcripts to determine if a show is viable for a brand without manually listening to every episode. SOC is hopeful for a future where digital ads at large Take the lessons learned in the realm of podcasting and bring measurement tools into cross-channel measurements. Why podcast companies are investing in AI-generated podcast translations despite questionable quality. A plan from iHeartMedia to use generative AI tools to translate 5 to 10 podcasts into different languages by the end of Q1 has been pushed back to the end of Q2. According to CEO Bob Pittman, the AI tech is not quite to the level it needs to be to fully release. Spotify's pilot test of generating podcast hosts' voices in different languages for translation purposes has also not posted any updates since September, and the program was not mentioned in their Q4 earnings call. At the Hot Pod Summit last week, The Verge's editor-in-chief Nalay Patel ran an impromptu experiment on how well the audience could detect a real audio clip versus an AI-generated one. While the clips in English had a decent success rate in fooling the audience, the clip of a Spanish translation had a 95% detection rate, with one person in the audience heckling, that was awful. While the tech isn't quite ready, companies believe it has the potential to become a cost-effective way to expand podcasts internationally and access the non-English speaking markets without creating a new version of the podcast whole cloth, such as Spotify's localized adaptations of fiction podcasts like K63, which effectively remade the podcast from scratch with a localized team and actors. Surround Sound, New York Times and Vox Media find their podcast business voice. A recent panel moderated by Steve Smith brought together the New York Times Executive Director of Audio and Events, Jimmy Saunders, and Executive Director of Audio Business at Vox, Lillian Shu. The two panelists discussed the similarities and differences of podcast strategy with two of the biggest examples of news-driven podcasting. Saunders explains the New York Times focuses on a smaller stable of shows, all focusing on the Times' journalistic vision. Meanwhile, Vox Media's larger portfolio allows the company to curate influential shows across different niches. While the two companies have different monetization strategies, the New York Times focusing on subscriptions, While Vox diversifies with subscriptions, partnerships, and advertising revenue, both believe in podcasting's capability for growth. And for the rest of the news, Meghan Markle has been confirmed to be giving a keynote session at South by Southwest, something to potentially pencil in our handy-dandy South by Southwest podcast event schedule. The iMark Group has declared the global podcast market reached $17.9 billion last year, And eMarketer presents IAB data showing consumers are okay with more ads if it means that a service remains free. Be sure to check out the links in every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Brian Barletta, Gavin Gaddis, and me, Tom Webster. 
This episode is hosted on Spreaker. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Tom Webster. Download us again tomorrow. Tomorrow.